We're going on a trip, uh, a quest in fact, uh, to find something that I've heard a lot about but I haven't yet seen it with my own eyes. For uh, a rather rain-spotted drive, we are in our secret location, so I'll see if I can uh, swivel the camera around and show you where we are. So there we go, as you can see, we are by the sea. In fact, we are at the Donacadee seafront, and uh, let's get ourselves all locked up here. I'm gonna take you uh, to see something which has uh, inspired our thinking uh, about what we're going to do in Beaver over the rest of this summer. So we're here at the pier at Donacadee and you've maybe already heard about this. Rosemary did a daily candle about it. It's happening in Port Rush and here at Donacadee and in all sorts of places over the country, people are starting to fill the pier with stones, with all kinds of artwork. Some of them are prayers, some of them are scripture verses, some of them are thanksgivings, some of them are names, uh, some of them are just a way of saying, I was here. Um, all of them are artistic and unique and beautiful and they're all being sort of combined together into, I guess, it's kind of like this ancient idea of the cairn. Centuries ago, people would leave piles of stones, again, sometimes as way markers, sometimes as acts of worship or as prayers, but the same idea of using the natural world to say your prayer. It's absolutely incredible, it's amazing, and you can kind of see behind me how many people are just uh, browsing along, having a look, and engaging uh, with all of the different art and prayers and all of the different things uh, that have been left here on the Donica Deep here.